Hi everyone. I managed to get my hands on the DJI Neo. I have some quick thoughts about this that I wanted to share with you. If this is your only drone and you're thinking about going into drone photography or drone videography, full disclosure, you might be disappointed because of the video quality. But as a supplementary drone, this is fantastic. Or if this is your first drone and you're just exploring the world of drone videography, this drone is fantastic for social media and I can also imagine it being very useful for real estate agents who need to take videos of themselves, record audio through and into the video footage directly with a fuss-free noise removal system and capture the background of the real estate property that they are selling. This is just an amazing tool for someone who is looking at vlogging where you're taking portrait shots of yourself and you want to talk about the environment that you're in. This drone is highly suitable for that. But if you're thinking of flying this and capturing fantastic scenery overseas such as in New Zealand, or Australia, this drone is going to disappoint you because the wind resistance is not very good. You'll get much better wind resistance from something such as the DJI Mini Series. The video noise that comes with the footage that you capture with the DJI Neo isn't going to be a big problem if you are consuming most of your media through a mobile phone. So if your target audience is going to consume your video footage mostly in portrait mode on a mobile phone, you're not going to have a problem with the noise. However, if the video is being played on TV or if you're going to use it for commercial purposes, then, then this, this drone video footage is really going to disappoint you. In fact, if you're even looking at the video footage captured on this drone through a PC display, at 24 inches or 27 inches or, or larger, you're really gonna see that the quality isn't as good as video footage captured in either 1080p or 2.7K from something like a DJI Mini. Despite what I mentioned about the video quality, this is going to be my most used everyday drone. Because this drone weighs 135 grams, that's nothing. And the RC remote control also weighs less. The propeller rail guards designed into this drone makes it perfect for close proximity use. The propeller rail guards protect the drone from injuring someone close to you or even yourself and that makes it perfect for you to take with you on an urban experience. You can deploy this drone quickly to capture cinematic shots that add that extra element of creativity to your vlogging videos. It is now 2024 and if you have a drone that's better than the DJI Neo, you'll be struggling to find places that you can fly your drone legally. I've been flying drones since 2016, 2017, and now there are just so many drone laws. Now I want to talk a little bit about the low light performance of this drone. It's not going to perform very well in low light and you're not supposed to use a drone at night anyway because you need to be able to see your drone at all times. So I handheld my drone like a gimbal, walked around, recorded the video and this is what it looks like. How does that look? So it's now at approximately 8 p.m. So the lighting condition should be pretty bad. So I expect that the ISO is knocked up to its fullest right now, uh, which will introduce a lot of noise into the video. I also tried flying this drone within stone throw distance and if there's not enough light, the drone is going to go bonkers. So don't try it, it's not safe, it's going to not know what to do. Most of the AI functions of this drone is probably coming out from the footage that the drone is able to capture and see. The other use case I wanted to try this drone out for was whether or not I could use this as my main vlogging camera when I'm overseas. So in a hotel room, if you have some fill lights, it's going to be very helpful to capture usable footage. In a cafe, I can imagine this is going to be very useful because of the sickeningly good noise removal features. I tried to record this and play my acoustic guitar and I wasn't able to hear the acoustic guitar. Well, that's uh, just a little bit of a test and I'm testing again and testing again and testing again. So I do wish that I could toggle the noise removal on and off. I couldn't find that setting on the mobile app. If you know how I can do it, please let me know in the comments. 
To me, the most useful mode of this drone is the follow function as well as direction tracking. So the noise removal will allow you to capture direction tracking footage and remove the sound of the drone. However, some of the timbre of your voice will also be removed. So you can hear that it sounds slightly unnatural, but I've done some processing to it to achieve better results. I can't wait to take this drone with me as my vlogging camera when I visit Shenzhen next month. So look out for that video. This is the injured tech man signing out. I'll see you in the next one.